Hey, it's like I mean ministries, private and personal chef services are we're praying with you. Delivering kingdom business, what's the what, 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 period, in Christ Jesus' name. Yes, we have reached year three in being victorious with Christ Jesus. And this year we are diving into Romans 8. We will be having live videos of me doing the run and us praying we have to have to keep praying in all that we do that's the only way we get to access christ jesus and all the things that he has for us here on earth remember that we are running a mile a day to keep the enemy at bay amen a mile a day to keep the enemy at bay and I pray that this year blesses you. And this year we are wearing our armor and we are remembering Ephesians 6, 10 through 20. Ephesians 6, 10 to 20 as we continue to remember Romans 8. And Romans 8, we'll be praying that into our lives as we continue to give God glory for all that he's done and all that he's going to continue to do. Amen. Now, you guys be great and enjoy these prayers. These prayers are for you to build your prayer life with Christ. And they are blessing me too. Um, I ask God to fill me up so that I can overflow into all that he's called me to be. I am not perfect, but through Christ who strengthened us, that's where my strength comes from. I pray that your strength comes from there as well. Wear the full armor and live in the spirit in just one moment we will be praying romans 8 into our lives i don't know what chapter it is for for whatever day it is but for now we will be reading romans 8 Romans 8 tells us life in the spirit how are we to conduct ourselves living in the spirit the holy spirit amen and that's what we aim to do here on this platform we serve the father and no one else on this platform we serve christ and no one else on this platform we serve the holy spirit and no one else now come on in and tap in into being victorious with Christ Jesus. You have no other victory if you don't have Christ Jesus. So that's why we claim victory in Christ Jesus. That's why we keep being victorious with Christ Jesus. Here on this platform, who do we serve? Father, Son, Holy Spirit, and no one else. Please stay tuned for the videos. Our TikTok, we have a prayer every um, for the whole year in the book for Power of Prayer. And you guys can um, tap into that too. You guys can tap into, you know, my Facebook and Instagram and also my YouTube channel. So now you guys be great. And as we continue to celebrate and commemorate God for all that he's done for us and all that he's going to continue to do for us, we will dwell in these readings and prayers. Now, you keep bringing great, like Eileen Ministries, private and personal chef services, and we're praying with you, delivering kingdom business, what's the what, 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 period, in Christ Jesus' name, and know you are loved, and you can be taught the word of God, and you can understand the word of God, as long as you put the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit in the mix, you will not fail. So, may God's grace cover you. May God's wisdom cover you. May God's strength cover you. May God's word cover you. May God's strength cover you when you are weak. So you will know that the only true strength comes from the Most High. Now, let's get into prayer. Romans 8. Let's be great. Romans 8, 10. Verse 10. Romans 8, verse 10. And it reads... Your body will always be dead because of sin, but if Christ is in you, the Spirit gives you life because Christ made you right with God. Your body will always be dead because of sin, but if Christ is in you, then the Spirit gives you life because Christ made you right with God. Christ paid a price. So we can be right with God. Hallelujah. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive our debts as you forgive our debts as it is not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive our debts as we forgive our debts as it is not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive our debts as we forgive our debts as it is not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive our debts as we forgive our debts as it is not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive our debts as we forgive our debts as it is not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread forgive our debts as we forgive our debtors lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thy is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever heavenly father we come before you knowing that we can't do this without you knowing that we wouldn't be able to do all any of this if you haven't sent your son we wouldn't be able to breathe if you didn't send your son father god you were so fed up in the world in the days of Noah you were ready to flood the earth and you came and warned the earth but the earth did not listen the earth did not listen well the earth listen is just the people within it they did not listen and they wanted to continue to do things of their sinful self but father God you says he right here in Romans 8 verse 10 father God we are dead we will always be dead because of sin but if Christ lives in us but then the spirit gives us life because Christ made us right with God. Thank you, Christ, for making us right with God so we can have another chance to be here in your dwelling place, to be here in your place where we could continue to meet you, where we could continue to read your word because we want to continue to be dead to sin and death and continue to breathe the new life you have breathed within us. And as we mentioned yesterday, it is within your word that we get that life. It is within your word. We get everything that we need in order for us to be where we need to be here on earth because Christ made us right with God. Christ made us right with God. Christ paid a price so that we may, we be made right with God. Thank you, God, because you are the ultimate um, um, plan, Father. You're the ultimate one to make plans for us. You're the master of this masterpiece that you have made, Father God. Let us not forget that, Father God. We are not slaves, but we are your children. You gave us a title as your children. Your children in need of you, Father God. You knew your children needed grace and mercy. You knew your children needed love. You knew your children needed joy. You knew your children needed every fruit of the Spirit. So, Father God, we will always be dead because of sin. But Christ is in us. If Christ is in us, if Christ is in us, then the Spirit gives us life because Christ made you right with God. Christ made us right with God. Christ made us right with God. Thank you, Heavenly Father, that no matter what, Father God, we know that we was made right because of Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that no matter what, you had the ultimate plan for your people. You had the ultimate plan for us to be saved since the beginning of time, Father God. Oh, Father God, even Jonah tried to warn Nineveh. But, Father God, you knew these plans that you needed to save your people. In what time, in what era, in what journey they would be in for you to save your people. So, Father God, thank you for planting us in such a time as this. So we can read Romans 8 and remember that we will always be dead because of sin. But if, but if, but if Christ is in us, and then the Spirit gives us life because Christ made us right with God, we're going to make it personal and say, I will always be dead because of sin. But if Christ is in me, 
then the Spirit gives me life because Christ made me right with God. Christ made me right with God. Christ made me right with God. As we read in the chapters before, we are not. There's no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus, and sin no longer controls the agenda. And we must continue to remember. We must put all our weight on the glory of God, and we must point our life towards the glory of God, so that the will and glory of God could be made manifest here in this lifetime in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, that no matter what, you have given us an ability to remember you in our time of crisis, to remember you in our time of depression, and to remember you in our time of anxiety, to remember you in our time of wrath, to remember you whenever we fall short, Father God, to remember that you have extended grace, have extended mercy, have extended all the things of the Spirit that we need for such a time as this. Father God, our body will always be dead because of sin but if Christ lives in us then the spirit gives us life because Christ made us right with God Christ you paid the ultimate price and we thank you we give you glory 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 and honor for all that you do and all that you're going to continue to do within our lives within our children within our children's children and each generation after that in the name of Jesus I don't pray to just this generation here but I pray for the generations that come after that they come after that they come after that until I see all the generations reunites in heaven because we remember that if Christ is in us then the spirit gives us life because Christ made us right Christ made us right so we could live our best spiritual reality in this world and to eternity Father God you said in John 3 16 that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son you gave us something that we don't deserve you gave us your word back so we can remember that is your word that still stands but Father God we tend to forget sometimes but remind us each and every single day that is in your, in your word that we get life and peace life and peace because you do not give us the spirit of fear but of love and of a sound mind so father god i pray that we continue to have the sound mind in the name of jesus father god thank you that you will continue to give us a chance to be at your feet to stay at your feet to be governed at your feet to 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 continue to be what we need to be for you father god we don't want this a time to be taken for granted but we must remember that this time is in you this time will not go in vain this time is a securing our time with you securing everything with you so we're going to continue to be victorious in christ jesus name we're going to continue to be victorious in christ jesus name we're going to continue to allow you to reign in christ jesus name in our lives and all that we do thank you heavenly father for all you've done for us and all you're going to continue to do for us father god you said our body will always be dead because of sin but if christ lives in us then the spirit gives us life because christ made us right with god in jesus name we pray Amen. Like I mean ministries, private and personal chef services, and we're praying with who? Yes, you. Delivering kingdom business, but to the world, what, what, period, in Christ Jesus' name. We are reading Romans 8 so that we can be great to God, be the glory. There is no other story. Amen. Now, let's be great with Romans 8. You be blessed. You are loved. You are able to follow God's law. And if you refuse it, you're really not able to obey it. So that makes you against God. And we don't want to be against God. We want to be for the things of God so that our spirit may can rise up. Like I Lady Ministries, private and personal chef services that we're praying with you. Delivering kingdom business, what's the world, what, what, period, in Christ Jesus' name. On this platform, we serve God and no one else on this platform we serve Jesus and no one else on this platform we serve Holy Spirit and no one else like I lean in ministry say what a day to keep the enemy and be. we wear the full armor and we are diving into Roman day.